On today's show, the Franklin Varsity Cheer Team are your New England champions. Where to look for local volunteering opportunities and the great seasonal debate. Are you a winter or a summer person? Today, Friday, March 24th, 2023. And Panther News starts right now. Good morning, Franklin High. I'm Ryan, and here are our top stories. As part of our ongoing celebration of Women's History Month, today we wanted to honor our very own girls cheerleading team. Our cheer team celebrated the end of their season in the best way possible. After an undefeated regular season and winning the Hawk, Divisional, and State titles, the girls won the 2023 Division I New England Championships this past weekend. Congratulations to FHS Cheer on an amazing season. This week marks the start of Ramadan, the holy month of fasting. Ramadan, which takes place between March 22nd and April 20th, is the ninth month of the Islamic calendar. It is observed by Muslims worldwide as a month of fasting, prayer, reflection, and community. Tonight, the National Art Honor Society will be holding their second Night of the Arts Around the World event at the high school from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Society members will lead the community through a variety of free art activities while exposing them to featured artists from six countries. The activities are geared towards kids of all ages. Special thanks to the generosity of the Franklin Cultural C Council, the event is free to attend for all. Now, in club news. SAD and the Community Service Club are hosting a showing of Kung Fu Panda on Thursday, March 30th, in the FHS cafeteria. Doors open at 6 p.m. for the event. Tickets will be $5 at the door, and snacks will be available for purchase. All proceeds go to rehabilitation and cancer research efforts. They hope to see you there. Next Wednesday, the Hiking Club will be hosting their second annual Trivia Night fundraiser. This year's theme will be pop culture. The event is for all ages, and there will be prizes and a bake sale. You can have up to six people per team, and tickets cost $5 per person, but are free for ages 12 and under. The Red Cross Club is hosting a blood drive in the gym next Thursday, March 30th. The blood drive will between, be between 8 a.m. and 1 p.m. Students and faculty are encouraged to sign up to give blood through the Google form on their Instagram account. Spring has finally sprung, meaning that winter has come to an end and summer is just around the corner. The beginning of the season reignites the classic debate. Is summer truly better than winter? Uh, summer. Why? Uh, it's more lively, you're able to do more stuff, you can go outside more. Uh, I prefer summer because it's warmer and me and my family go camping. Um, summer, for sure. Why? Um, I love swimming and, you know, going to the beach, so there's, I feel like there's just a lot more to do in the summer. I prefer winter. Why? Uh, because of the snow and going snowboarding. The summer is all relaxed, well, and the winter I get to freeze myself as I go into the mountains and ski, so I think I'm going to choose winter for that reason. Personally, I'm on Team Summer. I'll take 70 degree July days over negative 7 degree January storms every day of the week. Spring also means that the school year is starting to wind down, and many of us will be looking for summer work or internships. Well, summer is also the perfect place to start volunteering. Here's Grace to Sherry with that story. This is Grace Chisari reporting from the Norfolk Public Library at their Community Service Fair. Today, I interviewed various organizations about community service opportunities available to high school students. Let's take a look. What we do is we ask all the volunteer uh, organizations in the town to come and interact with our community to find out what volunteer opportunities are available. Once I saw that there was this volunteer fair going on, I just you know, made sure I had to be there. The Lions have what they call the LEOS program for, for younger members under the age of 18. Any students can get a hold of us and they can go on our website and sign up. They can do a dinner. Um, they can do Saturday sandwiches. If they email me at maureen at gillieshouse.com, they can do a collection. We would love to have students. Uh, we've asked the Boy Scouts and the Girl Scouts because they can certainly help us do things even just like setting up equipment or uh, taking people's names or directing them to the bathroom. I mean, this is, we need all sorts of volunteers in all sorts of different positions. I've just always loved helping other people. If you're interested in any of these organizations, be sure to check them out online for further information. Now, back to our show. Thanks, Grace. 
And finally, we're premiering a series of exclusive student spotlights that will showcase FHS students and their accomplishments. These videos will be available to watch on our YouTube channel and on PantherBook starting today. This week, we profile a club leader, a news reporter, and a member of the FHS Orchestra. Log on to check out their stories. That's all the news we have for today. Have a nice weekend, and thanks for watching, Franklin High.